Today is extremely symbolic for us as Nigerians. We should be very proud to see our president, you know, come to New York. We have had many presidents in the past who come for hunger, but they don't pay this kind of attention to coming to a place like this. This is symbolic. It helps people know that our leader is ready for business. He supports business and will create the enabling environment for business for, for businesses to succeed. There's so much private global capital looking for the right investment destination. And this capital will go to where it's most welcomed. Seeing the president of Nigeria come to New York, come to NASA to ring the closing bell says a lot. That is a man that is pro-business. We need a pro-business leadership to take Nigeria to the next level. It's all about confidence and trust. If we have confidence in the Nigerian economy, if we have confidence in our leadership, the money we need in Nigeria to develop our country, to drive infrastructure, to even improve our foreign exchange reserve, will come to the country. So I'm very happy that this has happened. That's why personally I cancel some other engagement to be here with the President. Okay. It's very symbolic and it's good. It's welcome. I like that President should do so. And when we go back home, they should also match it with action to make sure that the promise we made to foreign investors is sustained. We want, what is good for foreign investors is good for local investors. We want to see a vibrant economy in Nigeria. And to achieve that, we need to create the enabling environment. So far, so good. But we must realize that there's so much private global capital looking for the right investment destination. We want it to come to Nigeria. To attract that capital to Nigeria, you need to create the right environment. And so to me, it's symbolic that our president is here meeting with business leaders, global business leaders, and also coming to Ring the Bell. It shows that it's a matter that is important to him. I speak as a private sector person whose my credential is business turnaround. So I know how to turn business around. And I can tell you that what we're doing in Nigeria is about trying to turn the country around. When you do a turnaround, it's a long-term game. You need some patience. You need to keep your eye on the ball. You need to create milestones and just stay focused, committed, dedicated, disciplined. And in the medium to long term, it works. Short term, it's always very tough. But what is important is for everyone, the president, the team, to stay focused and let's keep doing what is right so the Nigerian economy can be transformed. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I think first and foremost, we're here to acknowledge the significant strides that the capital markets have made uh, since President Bola Ahmed Tinubu became president. Uh, for people who observe our capital markets, we have seen you know, market performance very strong. Investors have reacted very strongly to the uh, policy changes that he has implemented. So today is really a celebration of some of that. Uh, and also more importantly, to demonstrate to Mr. President that the capital markets are available to support a lot of his agenda. Everything from how do we drive deeper foreign exchange, to how do we improve government revenues, to how do we improve employment, for example, are all things that we think the capital markets can support uh, on the agenda. And these are some of the things that we're looking to reinforce today. I mean, uh, everyone who, again, follows our economy knows that we can decouple ourselves from foreign capital. We need every bit of foreign capital that we can have. And today's event is bringing together foreign portfolio investors, foreign direct investors, and it's a very strong signal that Nigeria is open to business. Investors do follow days like this. They follow the momentum, and these are the things that we think ultimately translate to that. Also, again, to stress that there are portfolio investors joining us today, and these people can move capital into the country in a matter of days uh, uh, following sort of uh, good positive feedback. So we're all here, you know, this is on the sidelines of the you know, United Nations General Assembly, so we are here to support. And also, Mr. President, Mr. President has been having a lot of meetings, you know, with a lot of businesses, you know, to actually come and support Nigeria. So we're here. As we know, there are quite a lot of challenges, you know, that we are facing, and Mr. President is doing a good job in trying to, you know, get investors to come and, you know, support and invest in Nigeria. Of course, we know that there are issues, but with what is going on, we believe that, you know, a lot of the challenges will be over soon. We know we have a lot of, uh, you know, a deficit as far as infrastructure, for example, is concerned. And there are a lot of companies that want to come and invest in Nigeria as far as infrastructure is concerned. Nigeria, as I keep saying, is, you know, endowed with huge, huge, huge potential and opportunities. So we're here, we are meeting with a lot of investors. You know, tomorrow, we, Mr. President will be attending the GABI, which is the Global Africa Business Initiative which is also a platform, you know, that has been launched or that was launched two years ago by Her Excellency Mrs. Amina, 
you know, uh, the DSG, Deputy Secretary General, and uh, I'm one of the council members, one of the, you know, 12 council members and the only one from Nigeria. So we are here, we are discussing, we are going to see how we can get investors to come and support, you know, uh, Nigeria and support the initiative of His Excellency, Mr. President. I think it is an exciting moment, you know, and uh, it looks very, very promising and very interesting. So we are all here, as you can see, there are quite a lot of, you know, businessmen from Nigeria here to support his Excellency Mr. President and uh, to also support most of the side events that are taking place.